This morning I was in the kitchen with my 11-year-old son, Beckett, and he said, hey, Dad, what are the original Star Wars movies? Are those episodes one, two, and three? And I had to sadly tell him, no. The original ones are episodes four, five, and six. New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And that's when I realized that I am actually, big confession moment here, not a Sede Vacantist, but a Jedi Vacantist. Basically, I don't accept anything that happened in Star Wars after 1983. I wanted the prequels to be awesome, but you know, you see stuff like Jar Jar Banks and all these things, and you realize this is not what I remember as a kid. I remember seeing, I think I saw Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi for sure in the theaters. Probably my earliest memory is at Kroger and my mom buying me, I think it was Darth Vader and the R2-D2 action figures. Later on, I got Chewbacca. I remember playing hours with them. Probably my greatest Christmas gift that I ever received was the Millennium Falcon, the big one under the tree from Santa. So as a kid, my greatest obsession was Star Wars. So as I got older and realized they're making the prequels, I was really excited. But as soon as I saw them and the CGI and all that junk, I realized no good. And it's kind of like even before that, they put the CGI, they tried to make remake New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi by adding CGI and some new music. That was bad. It was like the Novus Ordo of Star Wars. And, you know, you see Anakin, they already got undermining the Jedi celibacy. I mean, it's almost like a parallel to what's going on in the real world. You know, he's having relations with uh, what's her name and they have the babies. And then in the new ones, we've got this LGBT agenda going on. Yes, they bring back Han Solo and Chewbacca and all that. But I don't think of the new ones I even finished in the, what do you call this, the new trilogy. I don't even think I finished the second one. And people are asking me, Marshall, are you going to review the new Star Wars films? And the answer is no. I did a review on YouTube of the first one of the new trilogy. And the new one, which is called Rise of Skywalker, uh, came out last week. Probably not going to see it. You know, they're pushing this, uh, there's a, a, a lesbian kiss in it. Yes, I know it's not much, but it's just boiling the frog in the pot very slow. And Muslims are going to resist this. Catholics, we just roll over and and don't care. We just accept it. Well, it's just one little scene. It's no big deal. I'm done with it. So when my son asks me, what are the Star Wars films from now on as a Jedi contest, I'm going to say, look, there's only three. The 1979 uh, Star Wars, the original, the 1980 Empire Strikes Back, which is the best of the three, and then Return of the Jedi, 1983. After that, it's Jedi Vicante all the way. George Lucas sold out the whole thing. Uh, the special effects aren't as good. The plot, the acting in the first trilogy is horrible. Um, there's just not anything of merit there. I remember seeing the 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 first one of the first tri- of the new trilogy, the prequel trilogy in the theaters and being somewhat uh, entertained, but realizing we've sunk pretty far. These are pretty bad. So now we have this whole immorality problem and I'm just not going to support it. So Star Wars, goodbye. Uh, I am Jedi Vicante at this point. Uh, no more after 1983. Even the Mandalorian looks pretty interesting. Um, but you know, you got a little CGI baby Yoda and all that. Um, yeah, the new solo. I don't think I finished that horrible rogue one. Not that great either. Um, they just don't age well. Like the originals, the originals I've probably seen dozens of times and they're good. They stand up. They stand the test of time, even though the special effects have in a way faded, uh, given, you know, all the new stuff with CGI, something still legit about it. So there it is. I'm Jedi Vicante. I encourage you to be Jedi Vicante as well. Become a Jedi Vicantist. Teach your children no valid Star Wars since 1983. God bless. See you in videos to come.